Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're just getting back to town. We have to ask and make sure that it's alright that uh, our boy Ginger can come back into town. After all, we did find out it really wasn't his fault. And then we need to talk to the captain and let him know what happened. Hopefully he's not going to be angry that we took things kind of into our own hands and killed a couple of bandits. But we'll find out. Right now what's most important is just making sure that uh, Ginger can come back. Good horsey. You're doing a good job. I appreciate you very much. All right, lady. Look, I have some questions for you. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. Okay, look. We have to come to some sort of agreement here. I'm not going to leave him out there in the woods. I understand what he's going through, and I feel for him a little bit, so let's just talk about this. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sahanish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. May the Lord watch over you. All right, well, I'm going to tell Ginger that he can come back, but not quite yet. First, wait a minute, is that Radzig? Radzig, what are you doing here? Why are you in town? I can't actually climb the stairs because I'm too heavy. I I'm very confused as to why Radzig is actually here. I would think that he would be back in town. Is he just observing and watching what I do? Just to make sure that I don't muck things up? Well, I have quite a story to tell you, Radzig. I took care of this whole thing by myself. Nobody else did a thing. They were just walking around in town. Now I get to deliver the good news. Hey, Bernard, guess what happened? Well, well. Look who deigns to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy and... And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzig, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. It never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering, and it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. And now, let's hear what you have to report. Well, that didn't go as well as I was expecting. I guess that's what I failed. I was supposed to come back. Uh, well, well about that, there's actually a few things I learned. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it, then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. <sighs> All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. I didn't even get to tell him about the cutthroats, but fine. So that's why Radzig is here. Uh, problem now, can I actually get up the stairs to talk to Radzig? I don't know that I can. I'm a little bit on the heavy side. 
I'll try again and see if there's any way I can just reach far enough to actually hit that talk button. Oh, we made a little progress there. Radzik, little help. Little help, Radzik. All right, dog, you need to relax over there. The barking is not helping anyone in this situation. Oh, why did you have to be up there? Oh, maybe I can climb the logs. Oh, yes, a little ramp for us. Yes, we made it. Hey, Radzig. Greetings. What business have you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Oh, good. I can explain everything to him. Well, yeah, explain the entire story to him. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a, a lad they call Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I killed the cutthroats. We don't have to worry about that, Radzig. I know I didn't tell you that in my whole story for some reason, but they're not going to kill him. Regardless, I'll go to Ujits, but first I have one more question. Why choose Merhaya? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> all I have to tell him is that the trail leads to Ujits, which he already knows, so I'll tell you again. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there, a fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. I see. What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Take care now. I really don't know how I found out that he's Limpy Lubosh. How did I figure that out? I mean, whatever, I guess I'll deal with that later. Let's go ahead real quick before the episode's over and go report back to Pebbles, or Pebbles, excuse me, <laughs> Ginger. Pebbles, I don't need to report anything to you. You're my horse, you do what I tell you. But I would like to report back real quick. Uh, where is he at? I think I have to set a way marker maybe to him. Okay, so before we go too far, I do want to find our quest here and, and let him know he can come back. Do me, no, that's not it at all. Oh, where is it? Where's the... It, uh, do I not have to find him and tell him now? I don't know where that where it was. I have no idea. That's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem that... I guess it's solved. I guess I finished it? Man, that does not feel... That does not feel finished. Okay, well, I guess... We don't have to worry about that anymore. Find the other footpads from Neuhoff. Find Mark Vart and Avenger Parents. Yeah, I know those are main quests, but now I have to go to Ujits. So that's where I'm going to go. But I guess that that's going to wait until the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode when I get to Ujits.
and start to track down this limpy fellow. You guys have a good one. Thank you.